Well, what a pleasure. I'm joined now by Mildred Dresselhouse. Uh, Millie, welcome. Yes, uh, hello. <laughs> and thank you for taking the time to talk to us today. We very much appreciate that. Happy to do so. So uh, what, what are you up to at the meeting this year? Are you doing presentations? Yes, I, I gave a talk uh, yesterday at the opening session, session A. <laughs> Start off the meeting with a bang. <laughs> <laughs> and what was yeah. that about? Uh, well, they asked me to talk about carbon nanotubes and uh, in the context of carbon nanostructures. So I gave sort of a his historical and factual and up-to-date looking into the future type talk. And what are some of the research fields that you're uh, interested in at the moment? Well, um, I'm in into nanoscience uh, and carbon is a very good example of nanoscience. So, um, uh, materials, you know, n new materials, carbon, layered materials, and that sort of thing. So that's one of my main areas now. It's not only uh, nanotubes or intercalation compounds and, and their derivatives, uh, but I'm into graphene and, gra and beyond graphene, all of those things. Yeah. It's a very vibrant area of research, yeah, isn't it, materials? Yeah. Yeah, when I started out, there was nobody interested <laughs> in it. Back in 1960, I think I was uh, almost unique in the field I had. And it's an area of physics that's yeah. obviously got a lot of very practical implications. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. We had a conference not too long ago on the applications, and it was just jam-packed with in industrial folks. So there are people out there wanting to know more about the unique properties and how they might use them. Broadening that out slightly, how do you find the, the whole physics family at the moment? Do you find it a, a, a vibrant a, a arena? Do you find it one full of confidence? Yes, it's, it, it's surprising. It, it has uh, a grown uh, enormously uh, since 1960 and it keeps increasing. Uh, I think that physics as a whole is uh, increasing right now in interest worldwide. And uh, uh, my particular area is uh, particularly among, even among physics, especially pro popular now. Why do you think that is? Why do you think uh, physics is growing in popularity? Well, I think people see it as having some connection with society and uh, perhaps having some answers in terms of new materials that we need for various different kind of applications and also maybe for the energy field. So, you know, both of those areas. I think in the U.S. Uh, our administration is very much interested in sustainability and uh, maybe carbon might play a role in that. Do you think, how important is the, all the uh, shenanigans going on in Washington to uh, physics? Is there an uncertainty about funding? There's the sequester? Well, yeah, uh, there is an uncertainty. And we go through these kinds of uncertainties, you know, these blips, um, and maybe every 20 years. Now, I think we had one in 1980. And, uh, we, we had one in the 50s. Well, maybe it's 30 years. We go through blips, and I frankly think that um, when we go through these blips, you know, we shake up the community. Uh, so some people leave, some people change fields, uh, uh, subfields. That may be good, because uh, when we just do our science day by day by day by day, it gets kind of uh, not so novel. But uh, when all of a sudden you're shaken up, I think it brings new ideas to the field. It eliminates some people, it brings new people. Because they, they got shaken up in other areas and they drift in, so. Well, that's a very interesting kind of way of looking at it. One of the other questions I wanted to ask you was, uh, you know, over the 50, the 50 meetings you've come to, do you think, what about diversity within the physics profession? I'm, I'm thinking that's, particularly women in physics. Yes, that's a good question. Um, when I uh, got my PhD back in 1958, we were 2% of 
of, of physics. So we were pretty much invisible. At a meeting, we were even more invisible because we were of the younger generation. So before us, there were even fewer. So you went to a meeting, you saw no women, essentially. And now you see not few, but not many either. When you go to any of the sessions, we are still a large minority. Why do you think and that is? And it's hard to say. I thought that when we got to 15% of the student body, uh, we would have re uh, reached critical mass, but it hasn't happened in physics. It, it's, it's a lar number larger than 15%. I don't know what the number is, um, but when we get their degrees and we see them less at the meetings than I believe what we see in the classroom. And um, I guess it's a, a competitive field and I found myself that you just can't stop. And uh, when people have families and other obligations, it gets difficult. I think that's part of it. Well, Millie, thank you ever so much indeed for, okay. for joining us today. We okay. really appreciate you taking the time and uh, hope you have a great week and enjoy okay. the meeting. Okay.